Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the second. Knowing that the timing is fluid, this reading may or may not be for you. Let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the second? What do we have for around the second? King of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is very stable, very solid, very secure. This person uh, is a very hard worker, very loyal, has money, uh, probably saves their money, uh, very grounded, is comfortable waiting. It looks like this guy is waiting, waiting for the moment. It looks like he's waiting for the word, waiting to hear something. He's got the pentacle on his chest. He's he knows he's he knows he has a lot to offer this guy. He has something to offer. Okay, this is the king of stability. Okay, uh, financial stability and security. Um, very down to earth. Very patient. As you, you notice, there's fire in the background. He's not even worried about it. Very laid back. So this is a very laid back energy. Also very powerful. This is a very powerful individual. He has some red on. He's full of passion. He is. So this guy is full of it. He's full of passion. He's stable. He's secure. He's patient. I feel like this guy, this is an individual. This is a person. This isn't just an energy in this case. This person, um, he's waiting for the message or he's waiting for the word. Birds are about messages and we got a little bird here. So he's waiting for something. He's waiting for a message or he's thinking about sending a message. He's thinking about it. This is a very wise man. This is temperance reversed. Now, oh, frustrated. We have somebody here that is frustrated. This, and he does look a little frustrated. This is an individual. He does look a little frustrated. Even though he's laid back, he's, he's waiting for something. Uh, not balanced. Not, not, something isn't going as planned. With the temperance reversed, all is not going as it was supposed to go or like it was supposed, yeah. There could be somebody here that's having mood swings. There's some sort of inconsistency here. Hmm. Ooh, the hangman. Now the hangman is is thinking, thinking, this guy, we have an individual thinking a lot. Thinking a lot, 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 and it doesn't have to be a man. It can be a man or a woman. Okay, this is this is the, somebody who has a lot to offer. It's financially stable, secure, laid back. Doesn't isn't very flighty. You notice there's a fire in the background. I'm not worried about it. That kind of energy. I'm not worried about. It. I'm just not worried about that kind of stuff. So we have this individual who is experiencing some probably some inner upheaval within themselves. Thinking a lot thinking about what has happened, thinking about the future, thinking about who they want to be with, thinking about uh, what has happened for sure, struggling, may have a complex, maybe trying to prove a point, may have an ego, may have missed an opportunity because of their stubbornness. The King of Pentacles energy is very stubborn. This person likes to be in control. Okay, this guy does like, or a woman, this is, but this is somebody who likes to be in control. Now, the King of Pentacles also has that Midas touch. This person has the touch, you know, has the flair, has the, um, uh, has that feeling of stability, uh, comfort, comfort. Anyhow, uh, thinking about what has happened, probably not very happy. This is emotionally unstable. Could be a little hard. This person may be a little hard. Not very emotional. Okay. Stuck on something. 
maybe wanting to prove a point, maybe obsessed with control. We have somebody here that is learning a lesson with these two cards. They're learning a lesson or they're going through a period of enlightenment. Maybe they were trying to punish another person and they didn't and it, something didn't turn out the way they had hoped. Son, definitely not happy. We have somebody here that is not happy with a circumstance. Maybe feeling sad. There could be a broken relationship. There's poor logic. Lack of clarity. Somebody may have been suffocating or they felt like they were suffocating. And maybe the, it feels like somebody got pushed away or something like that. So this is a lack of happiness. Not very happy at all with the circumstances. There's control issues here. This person, this could be like an alpha male even. It could be. So this is some, this, there's definitely some sort of control issues here. It's like things got out of whack or something didn't happen the way it was supposed to. So there's an imbalance and there's an uneasiness and hard, somebody's having a hard time changing. This is in it, both of these cards, inability to change. You know, they, they, they probably want to change, but they can't change. They can change, but maybe they just don't, haven't found the resources within them to change. We definitely have some sadness. We have some frustrations and some some uh, going back and forth as to, you know, what they should do. There's definitely going back and forth here. Somebody hasn't been being honest with themselves and now they may be lonely. They could be lonely because of some sort of disillusionment. Stubbornness is big here too. We have a very stubborn individual that I feel like they've lost something. They've lost an opportunity because this is a missed opportunity. Thinking too long. They've missed an opportunity for happiness because they didn't do something. They procrastinated for too long. Somebody procrastinated. And now they're sad because the opportunity is gone. But this guy's still thinking. Definitely still thinking. Not happy. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Um, didn't invest. Didn't put in effort when it was still alive. Okay. Didn't didn't do what they were. Some an individual didn't put in effort. They didn't nurture a situation. They didn't make it grow. They didn't. And I think they're having regrets. I feel like they're having regrets. Um, five of Wands. Now there's some competition. Maybe they were playing games. Maybe they they you know are looking at the competition now. Maybe they're wishing that they weren't playing games. This person obviously wasn't ready to accept and change their behavior. There's bad behavior here with the with the with the temperance reversed. That is bad behavior. Something is off with the temperance reverse. Something doesn't feel right. I feel, feel like we have somebody here that is watching. They're observing and they, they maybe they see that something isn't right. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is about home. There could be a conflict going on at home. Within the family, there's family conflict. But this is, this is, uh, tens are completions. This is comfortable. Building up a comfortable home, working together. Coming together as a family, it, maybe they were... Conflicted about being part of a family or something like that or having to put in effort Because this is a conflict But it's also competition 
maybe they, they weren't looking to have a family or they didn't want responsibility. Mm -hmm. But this tens are completion. So tens, that would be like, you know, tens are, they're completions, they're ends. Two of Wands is a choice being made. We have an individual that is in the process of making a choice. They need to make a choice and they know they need to make a choice. They're at a crossroads right now. You can choose to stay or you can choose to go. This is hard work. It's hard work to be in a commitment. This is a commitment. It's a long-term commitment. So I think we have somebody, maybe they've been battling with themselves about being in a long-term commitment. But now it's, this is the moment of decision. It is the moment of decision. We have somebody here that is not happy. They're really thinking about what to choose because this is the choice. They're thinking about what they want and they're feeling an imbalance on the inside with that temperance reverse. They're feeling imbalanced. They're feeling frustrated. They're feeling like things are out of control. Something isn't right. They're feeling a loss. They're, they're missing an opportunity and I think they feel it. They know it. You know, they feel that, that they've lost something. You know, and I feel like they feel like they've lost something because of their stubbornness in it, but they can't take action because they're still so stubborn. So we, this is like uh, com struggling. We have an individual here that is really, really struggling with getting into a commitment, but they're not happy being alone, which is interesting. Anyway, this is the moment of decision. This person has been thinking a lot. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're feeling, it doesn't have to be, it could be anybody, but this person is um, feeling like something is off, not happy, about to make a decision about uh, a commitment of some sort. They've really been battling. And I think they've been battling with themselves. They may be watching somebody that has some sort of competition. You know, they know they have to put in effort if they want to win. Um... <sighs> What the hell is going on? King of Swords. This guy has done his investigation. I know that he has. He's done his investigation. He's definitely been watching. Watching. Um, I think he's made his decision. He knows what he wants. And he's about to communicate. He is about to communicate. He's about to speak up. I feel like... Um, He may be, may, I need to get another card. It feels like he's he's been really struggling for sure. Str uneasy, feeling uneasy, feeling unbalanced, thinking about his, his uh, commitment, thinking about working with somebody, thinking about communicating, thinking about the future. I think he's come up with his conclusion. He's very smart. He's very, very smart. I think he's going to do something. I think he's made his decision. He's thought about it. He knows what he wants. He was stubborn, 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 stubborn. He was battling with his um, options, perhaps. Uh, battling, you know, with, and I think part of his options were independence versus commitment. Maybe he had another person as well. There definitely was some sort of competition here. Hermit, yeah. So yeah, this guy, uh, independence was big. Whether he wanted to be alone, you know, he'd probably been alone for a while. Um, whether he wants to be alone or whether he wants to be in a commitment. This guy is very wise, has a lot of life experience behind their back. So we have a, a very wise individual that is about to come out of hiding. He has been keeping to himself. He probably hasn't been communicating. He was stubborn for one thing. I feel like he has made a choice. He has made a choice. He knows what he wants. He's not happy with the current circumstances. He he's I think he's he's been watching somebody that he may already may have uh he may have lost because the hey man can be a lost opportunity for thinking too long. But he sees a new opportunity. I think he sees a new opportunity somehow. Um, he sees that something isn't right. And he's about to take action. Ooh, with the Empress. Oh, ooh, ooh, the Empress. So it's time. It's time. 
This is about to pop. Something is about to pop. It is time. It's time for a birth. It's time for a new beginning here. It's harvest time. It's absolutely time. This guy is, we have somebody that is looking at an empress. He is watching this empress. This empress is beautiful. She's uh, very motherly. She's very kind. She's very gentle. She can make anything grow. She has a lot of life experience. She's very... Um, the Empress is very sensual, she's very sexual, she's very um, motherly, she's a good homemaker, she's a good cook, uh, she's very creative, she may be a creator. I mean, she creates life, right? Um, she has multiple options as well, and I think whoever this person is knows it, because there's definitely competition. So I think this person that has been watching is about to come out of hiding. He's definitely watching. Watching from afar. This person has been watching from afar. And I feel like this person has, has is, is like, you know, it's time. It's time. It is definitely time. It's time to speak up because that's communication. It's time. I think the decision is being made. This, this person has been thinking about it for a while. They have. But they know that the, the empress doesn't settle. She wants commitment. She wants commitment. She does. And if she doesn't get commitment, there's plenty of competition. So, I feel as though, right, coming up, you know, the timing is fluid. We have a masculine, I'm going to go ahead and say it, that has been watching his lady. He's been watching his lady. And I think he's been behind the scenes. I think he has been uh, in the process of making a decision. He's seen all that he wants to see. I think he's been feeling uneasy. He's been feeling frustrated. He's been battling with his head and his heart. He's been battling with thoughts of getting into a commitment versus being single. He's been having a hard time making a choice, but I think he knows what he wants. I feel like the lady may have turned her back on this man. She has turned her back, obviously, on this man. And I think that is what has given him the awakening, the awakening that he needed. Okay? Definitely an awakening with, with this is, these both these, with the hangman and the hermit. This is an awakening. We have, we have a masculine that has gotten some sort of awakening, you know, a wake up call. And now he's making a choice. He's making a choice. It's either uh, you go for it or the competition's going to get it. What's it going to be? So uh, this individual did not invest in the past. Maybe they weren't ready to settle down. They wanted to play. This could have been a player, you know. Um, but I feel like now they're ready for some sort of commitment. And they're about to, to, to communicate. I think there's some sort of communication coming. Um, I think there's going to be a reconnection, okay? There is. There's going to be a reconnection between two people. This person has been watching, and they can see that it is absolutely time. So if this message is for you, be prepared for somebody that has been um, thinking about their future, thinking about the past, thinking about what has happened, thinking about uh, what they have to offer, what you have to offer, everything. They've been thinking about everything, and I think they also have some regrets for not putting in effort uh, before. I do. I think they have some regrets for not putting in effort uh, when they had the opportunity. Yeah, Three of Cups, because they got, when they didn't put in effort, there was, there was somebody else. I feel like there was somebody else that swooped in, okay? Um, they lost, that's a termination. It ended. It ended. They parted ways. There was a parting of ways. So I feel like uh, now this individual is to put about to uh, put up a fight or put in some sort of effort. Okay, They're about to get back in the game after they weren't ready in the past. They're ready. This is it's delivery time. It is. It's delivery time. There's, there's somebody is about to uh, get a blessing. Somebody is looking at this beautiful woman.
and they have not been communicating because they've been battling with themselves. But I think they've gotten a new perspective. So anyway, I feel like there is some sort of communication coming from an individual that has been keeping quiet. This person is about to reconnect. They're about to socialize. They're sad. They're lonely. They're upset. Okay. Sad. Lonely. Upset. <laughs> Seriously. That they missed an opportunity. So that's what has caused them to, you know, go after this lady before it's too late. And take a look at that. Forgiving and learning. Oh my God. One fell on the floor. Express your love. There's going to be an expression of love. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. There is somebody that has been keeping quiet. And they're about to speak up. Because it's time. Good luck.